Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's first week of royal tour proves they're ready for parenthood. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will surely have no problem welcoming a little one into the family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex got plenty of parenting practice during the first week of their royal tour in Australia, mingling with dozens of young children down under. From regal gifts to sweet hugs, E.T. breaks down all their best moments abroad. All of the fun kicked off on Monday, when Meghan, 37, and Harry, 34, attended a welcome event at the Admiralty House, with Australia's Governor-General Peter Cosgrove and his wife, Lady Lynn Cosgrove. While there, the parents-to-be were presented with a stuffed kangaroo named Joey, a present for their future child. Our first baby gift, Meghan excitedly exclaimed. While meeting with the crowd outside, it appears they also received additional toys to add to their collection. Then, on Tuesday, Meghan and Harry broke royal protocol by allowing the Duchess to snap a selfie with a sweet girl who resembled her when she was young. The cuteness continued into later in the day, when Harry and Meghan met a five-year-old boy, Luke Vincent, who was infatuated with Harry's beard. The boy was also photographed giving Meghan a giant hug and a beautiful bouquet of flowers. The smile on the former Suits star's face says it all. That same day, Harry was also spotted practicing his best silly faces for a toddler dressed in a pink cowgirl hat. Meanwhile, at the Mountain View farm, Meghan was spotted looking lovingly at a baby while meeting with and learning more about the Woodley family. Come Thursday, Meghan was the recipient of another sweet gift from one of her younger royal fans. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were greeting crowds outside the government house in Melbourne, when a little boy named Gavin handed her a homemade necklace made of pasta. If snapping pics with toddlers wasn't adorable enough, Meghan also bonded with another expectant mother from the one-wave group she and Harry met with early Friday morning at Bondi Beach. Charlotte, 35, later recalled the conversation she had with Meghan to reporters. Meghan told me that pregnancy was like having jet lag, she shared. She said she was up at 4.30 a.m. This morning doing yoga in her room as she couldn't sleep. It's a bit of a double whammy for her, she said, as she has both the baby and jet lag to contend with.